Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I have an update to my whole collection project plan. Is that what it's called? <laughs> the one where I do like a roulette style and I have mostly use goals, very rarely use up goals. And once I reach my goal, I just roll in another pro product. And every year I've been doing the number products for the year so because we're in 2024 i have 24 products going at once so yeah let's just get into it for the updates i'm going to start with the products that i'm rolling out and then just quickly show you what's staying in because you know or else it'll be very repetitive every time so the first thing that I'm rolling out is my VDL Creamy Stick Jelly. I have grown to really love this. If this was like the only cream blush I had, I would be fine because it's so easy to use. I love this shade. It looks like it's gonna be like a light pink from the packaging, but it actually goes on pretty vibrant and it's just, ugh, my camera cannot focus anymore. But it's like, I don't know. It has like a nice brightness to it and I don't know if you can see but I have kind of made somewhat of a dent in this. It used to be like pretty flush if not a little over the this thing, the barrel, is that what it's called? I don't know. Um, and now there's a dip in it so that's exciting. So I have used this more than 10 times. My goal was 10. I stopped counting at 10. It's a bad habit because I keep telling myself keep counting so that you know your actual uses but anyway so reach my goal on this and that's getting put back in my collection uh, the next thing I'm rolling out is my perfume so thankfully I ended up really liking this so I was wearing it on most days um, this is the Skyler vanilla sky eau de parfum it's a rollerball and I've used this. I actually wrote 14 out of 10. I think it's a bit more, but at least I counted past 10 and that's what it's looking like after 14 uses. So now I know why like panners usually put rollerball fragrances into sprays to use them up because if that's all I've used after 14 uses, I mean, this will last me like three years. <laughs> No, probably more than that actually. So I'm going to put this back. And now my fragrance category has nothing in it. So hopefully I roll some more fragrance. Because I like having fragrance in this project. Because it makes me rotate through my fragrances. Since I hardly ever do. Um, then the next thing is my lip balm. The Incredible Jelly Shot Lip Quencher. This is the one with the flower inside. And... I don't know if you can tell, I don't have a picture or anything from when I first started. I'm using my face as a background because <laughs> it's a clear lip balm. Um, but I have used this a lot. I actually counted up to 18. I'm sure it's like 20. Um, because I was using this like almost every day. And I really ended up liking it. I thought it was going to be just like a gimmicky thing because it has a flower inside you can see that and I'm actually thinking like what happens when you get to the flower like can you keep using it I don't really understand that <laughs> because this formula is very soft and like oily so it goes down fast so I imagine you would reach the flower quickly because uh, this was like brand new when I rolled it in and I've used a lot of it like that's I don't remember how much it was, but it looks like, like if I roll it down completely, look how far down it is. And before it was like up to the brim, so there's that. But that's going back in my lip balm collection. Um, then my Too Faced Peach Perfect, where it is. So this was in two projects and I met my goal on this one because I added another 10 uses I think so I reached my goal 10 out of 10 uses on this this is 
you know, doesn't exist anymore. This is a mini size of the Too Faced Peach Perfect setting powder. That's what it looks like. I just dropped it on the floor, so there's all kinds on, in the cap. But I actually really ended up liking this. I only put powder here and here. <laughs> That's it. So I use powder very sparingly, but I did like this one. Um, and then my setting spray that I'm rolling out is my Complex Culture. I made a really good dent in this this time around. This was in a project before, but I only used like that much. And then all of a sudden it's down to here. I think it's because I realized this is not just a setting spray. This is a, apparently a blue light defense mist. I don't know the science behind that. But it just feels nice and refreshing. So even when I'm not wearing makeup, I was using this. And yeah, I guess it's just nice to put on, like I work from home three days a week. Well, even when I'm at the office, I'm in front of my computer. So this is just nice to be wearing all the time anyway, if it in fact is a blue light defense mist. Either way, it feels nice and refreshing, like I said. So putting that back in my collection. And those are the only things I'm rolling out. So one, two, three, four, five products. So I'm going to roll in five more. But to quickly go over my uses on the other things, my Natasha Denona Cupid, I rolled this in for the cream blush. It's a duo. It's a blush and highlighter. I ended up really liking this. I wasn't sure if I liked this for some reason, but I do really like the blush. I don't think I even touched the highlighter yet, um, but I will. I mean, I don't see why not. But I've used this only twice out of the 10 new skulls, so that's staying in. The ColourPop Flirt Alert is one of my oh, powder blushes. I haven't used this one at all, and I have a 10 use goal. It's one of the heart blushes that I never opened properly. I dug my nail into it at some point, but it's this one. Haven't used that in this project. Um, ColourPop Flower Power is the second powder blush. Did I say highlighter before? It's a blush. Um, in flower power this one it's really pretty i used this once i think yeah uh, once out of ten so that's staying in so my powder blush category is still full i didn't mention at the beginning that i can only have two of the same product type um in this project at once so like a powder blush for example i already have these two a cream blush, I now only have one left, so I can roll in another one, that kind of thing. Um, then I was at my uh, cream bronzer, which I didn't know was a cream when I rolled this into the project. Um, this is the Lower East Side Skyscraper Bronzer, and I've used this quite a bit. Because a cream bronzer is just like an easy product to reach for. Especially like when I'm going to the office, it's just quick and easy. I like the shade of this. So I have used this. I've used this eight of 10 times. So this will definitely be rolled out by next update. Um, and then for powder bronzer, I rolled in finally my Sephora Pro palette. So the powder bronzer, I've been using both of these at the same time. I think this one is actually meant to be a highlighter because this is the palette for medium, right? Medium to, no, just medium skin tone. So I mix these two together because this is a bit deep and I've been liking that. So I've used this one nine of 10 times. So definitely will be rolled out because I, I alternate between this and the cream bronzer. Okay, um, moving on. Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one. I have used this six of 10 times and I'm happy to say that I actually really like this. I think I mentioned when I rolled it in, I thought I wasn't sure if I liked it or not, 
but I do. I don't know what happened the first time I used it. Maybe I did use, like, I feel like when I layer this, it doesn't look as good, but if I just go in, like, my usual, just a few dots, it's really nice. So I am liking this, and I like the shade. It's fair warm. I don't feel like this looks warm at all, but that's what it's called. Anyway, then my L'Oreal Matte Signature, okay, eyeliners, I've been doing horribly, as I'm not surprised by. The first one is a liquid eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Matte Signature Eyeliner in, there's no shade on this, actually, but it's burgundy, I think it said online. Um, I haven't used this at all, <laughs> so there's that. Um, the Urban Decay Torch, haven't used this at all. Oh, I only have five use goals on these eyeliners, by the way, so there's still hope, but I've used this a few times in my life, but not during the time it's been in this project. And then my Fenty C About It, I use one time and I'm actually wearing it right now. You probably can't tell because it's super dry, unfortunately. It's meant to be like a cobalt blue, but I really have to like press down to get that color to come out. So it's not very pleasant to do that on your eyelids. So I'm just getting like a, on your inner, whatever, your waterline. So I'm just getting like a very light blue shade from this, but I haven't, this is the first time I use this, I think, ever. Maybe I've used it once before. So that's disappointing because this is not cheap. It's Fenty Beauty and I don't want to just throw it away. So I'm going to keep using it. So I've used this once out of the five uses. Then for foundation, I had one product, my Makeup Forever Water Blend, and I haven't reached for this at all. That's how it looks when it's not shaken. I used to love this. It was my favorite foundation. I don't know if it's still going to be, but I want to use this. I have a 10 new school on this, so. I just haven't been using foundation because I've been using concealer. Because um, I don't wear foundation when I go to the office. That's just way too much work for no reason. Nobody sees me <laughs> when I'm there. So, yeah. Anyway, um, what else? What else? My cream highlighter is my makeup. No. Milk Makeup, this um, lit highlighter. I actually really like this. I used it five of the 10 times. Um, this is another product. It's just easy for me to use when I go to the office. I like it best when I use a stippling brush directly on the, on the product and then blend it in. I do not like this wiped onto my face because it. I feel like it doesn't, I don't know. It sticks down too much when I do that, so yeah. But I do really like the shade of this. It's nice and like subtle, but still you can see it. And another cream highlighter is my Tower 28 No Shade. I actually used this twice, but I have a 10 new school. This is just a clear, like balmy highlighter. This is not something I would have ever bought, but it came, I think, in a Sephora favorite set, I want to say, like a clean makeup set, I think. And I mean, I don't love this. It's fine. It does actually give you like a glow, but only because it's like a balm. It's not shimmery or anything, and it's clear. So there's that, but I'll use it eight more times, I guess. <laughs> then for powder highlighter, this one I'm very excited about because I think I found like my new favorite highlighter, at least right now. It's this one, the Too Faced Moon Crush Out of This World highlighter. This is so pretty. I love the shade of it. I love the embossing. So I've used this 
three out of ten times and you can still see like all the embossing on it so it's not very soft like the formula doesn't crumble but it's very like smooth and nice on the face and I just love it so and I think it smells like apples or something so I will use this one seven more times um then my ColourPop Moon Kingdom, my second powder highlighter. So we're not rolling in any highlighters today because I'm at my cap on both categories. This one is the Pressed Powder Highlighter in Moon Kingdom, I think I just said. This is the purple tone one, but I have used this once and it wasn't unwearable, so that's good. It just gives like a purpley tone, so. I wouldn't use like too much of this because I don't want a purple base because it'll look weird on my skin tone but I will use this nine more times and I keep it in its packaging because it's just way too cute. For lip gloss I had one product it's from my Glamlight, well Michaela Glamlight collab. Um, there's no shade Right, this is the one, I don't know if I lost the sticker or if there never was one. I think this is the Lucky Charms shade because it's the gold one. I do like this lip gloss, so that's fine. I've only used it once though, so nine more times. And lip liner was my ColourPop Clarisse. So I just pulled the whole lip kit because it's a lip liner and a lipstick together. So... But only the lip liners in this project, but usually I would use both of these at the same time. I've used this three times, the lip liner. Um, it's a really nice nude. It's a bit light, like a light leaning nude, so it doesn't give you like real like definition line, but it's nice to have for like nude lipsticks or you know, things where you just want some structure or just makes your lipstick or whatever you're putting on easier to apply, I feel. For powder, I had a pressed powder, the Bare Minerals Duo. I've used this five of 10 times and I just replaced what I was doing with the Peach Perfect. I just started using the matte powder in this palette and it's nice. It's not, doesn't make me look dry. It doesn't like stick in my pores. I haven't used the glow powder yet because I'm not really sure what I want to do with that. I'll try it at some point, but I've really just been focusing on the matte shade. So five of ten times, like I said, on this one. For primer, I have not touched this primer. Where is it? I even forgot it, so let me get it. So I have not touched this primer at all. <coughs> I choked on my own spit <laughs> since rolling this in because if you've seen my other videos I was panning the VDL primer and then I've been focusing most recently as of today I don't have it here but my RMS deluxe sample so after that then I will <laughs> finally get to this one I've used this before like when it wasn't in this project and I really like it so I am not like upset that it's in this project or anything. I have to use it 10 times though. So eventually I will get to this. And then the other setting spray that's remaining in this project is my iconic London Prep Set Glow. I've only used this four of the 10 times. Um, yeah, so if I don't end up, uh, or, ooh, if I don't end up rolling in, another setting spray. This is the only one in this project now, which is fine. I, I like this. It's just the scent. It's a very strong fragrance in here. So yeah, and that's everything. So I will roll in five more project, five more products. And to do that, if you haven't seen previous videos, I use my Tiny Decisions app, which is like a, a wheel. So I roll for the category and then I roll again for the actual product. Um, I'm going to do that off camera because it's, it's a long drawn out process. 
So I'll just come back to show you what products I chose. I'm back with my five products. Kind of excited about some of them. <laughs> um, the first one is, let's go with the category, I guess. Well, to replace my VDL Creamy Stick Jelly, I did roll again for a cream blush and I got my Rose Ink Azalea. So I remember really liking this. I've used it obviously before, quite a bit it seems, but it's that shade, very pretty, so that's fun. Um, then to, what else did I replace? I think other things, yeah, I didn't roll in any replacements, but I rolled in things that I only had like one product in that category. So for primer, you guys saw I'm keeping this one in, the Ciate Watermelon Burst. And then I rolled in my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. So <laughs> two watermelon primers. This one is more like a serum primer though, and this is like a gel primer. Um, but fun and fun and funny, funny enough, funnily enough, I don't know. This was in my shop, my stash, and I still have not used it. Well, I haven't used this one, but I do have this in a sample that I keep in my travel bag, and I did use that one when I went to Boston. I was using that like every day while I was there and I like it. So I know I like it. I just haven't reached into this one yet. So two primers that are both watermelon themed, but whatever, it's summer, so that's fine. Um, then for concealer, so I'm keeping in the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. Oh, I didn't say use goals. Um, for the cream blush, I'll do 10 just because it's the same that I had before. For the primer, I will do 10, I think. Yeah, 10 for the primer. For concealers, I do also 10. So <laughs> this is the other concealer I rolled in, my LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I don't think I've used this. I think it was just... It was in my new makeup drawer for so long that I finally was like, okay, I'll just put it in my concealer drawer. So I'm excited about this one. I do really like LYS products, so this one will be another 10 use goal. And I have the shade LN6. I might have used that already, but it sounds familiar. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I rolled in another lip liner. So I am keeping the ColourPop Clarisse. Unfortunately, it's another nude lip liner. This is the Michaela Glam Light lip liner, which is interesting because I think it goes with the lip gloss, like it was in a kit, I believe. Um, I'm assuming this is what I think it is, Golden Dreams lip liner, but for some reason they don't put the shade names on the products, which is very annoying. Oh, this is... This one is a pencil liner. It's extremely light because, yeah, it goes with that nude lipstick she came out with. So, we'll see what I do with this one. It might just be like an all over lip liner because this will not give me any sort of definition to my lips. So, but there's that one. And then the last product I rolled in is actually an essential oil. So I do have essential oils in my project because I have so many of them. I would like to condense my essential oil collection and I rolled in clove, which is not like my favorite scent for this time of year. I really like clove in the fall because, well, I'm sure if you guys know like pumpkin spice, anything like fall themed, it's usually clove that you smell. So it reminds me of fall. But if I mix this with like a citrus or something, it could be a really nice, more like invigorating scent for summer. So this one, I forget, I guess I'll do 10 for essential oil. Um, when I use this, well, depending on what else I mix it with. 
if I use three essential oils in my mixture, I'll do three drops of this at a time. It's already down to there, if you can see, like here, I think. Yeah, it's down to there. So anyway, that's my essential oil. So that is everything. Yes, that's it. So I will put these in my spreadsheet and put everything away. I have a huge mess in front of me. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.